Hey everyone, it's Josh from Carney Media Group and the Music Tech Help Guy YouTube channel. Today I've got another unboxing and review video for you. Today I'm checking out the Tonor Q9 USB microphone kit. This is a USB uh, condenser mic. It's being advertised as a studio condenser and uh, it's only $65. It's real cheap. It's one of those uh, cheap Chinese mics and most of these sound like garbage, but uh, this one actually sounds pretty decent. And I'll show you some musical examples in this video. Also, please forgive my selfie cam here. Um, I somehow lost my tripod or I left it at the studio or something, so I'm not really sure where it's at. So I'm doing the best I can here. But yeah, let's uh, check this thing out. Let's unbox it. Let's go through what's included with it and uh, what you can expect uh, recording uh, quality-wise from it. Uh, in this video, I'll demo out uh, spoken voice, sing singing voice, as well as acoustic guitar. Let's see if for 65 bucks, you really can start making recordings without an audio interface or anything like that. Just a $65 USB mic and some headphones and a computer. So let's check this thing out. So no fancy case or anything, just a cardboard box. Let's see what comes inside. So there's some instructions. We've got a windscreen. There's also an included pop filter. There's a shock mount that will connect to any standard microphone stand adapter. An included USB-A to USB-B cable. This kit comes with a boom arm that connects to your desk. So this is the clamp that connects to the desk. And then the boom arm itself. And then there's the main piece of the kit here. We've got the Q9 mic. Let's get it out of the bubble wrap. It's a pretty sleek looking mic. Um, no external markings or buttons except for this plus minus button, which is a gain control for the mic. I'll talk more about this in just a bit. So that's everything that's included with the mic kit. Let's uh, get this all set up and make some recordings. All right, so the question you're probably all asking is, how does this thing sound? Um, and the answer is surprisingly good. Uh, right now, you're hearing my voice with just a little bit of EQ and compression, as well as some noise reduction just to kind of get rid of the uh, background noise of the AC vent. But that's pretty typical on all of my YouTube videos. I always end up doing something like that. And you've been hearing my voice through the Q9 this entire time. So and I'll continue to narrate the rest of the video with this mic rather than my my usual mic. Now, this little $65 mic is not going to replace my $600 Earthworks mic that I normally use for my uh, dialogue for my YouTube videos, but it's certainly helpful for someone who's maybe just trying to get into recording or maybe uh, you're trying to do some video conferencing, some online teaching, and you need a cheap way to record dialogue. It's certainly good for something like that. Maybe you're trying to start a podcast or do some online gaming, any situation where you need a better mic than the built-in mic on your computer or your laptop, or better than say like a headset mic. Um, so again, 65 bucks, uh, pretty great value there. And again, the built-in gain control on the mic is a nice touch as well. All right, so let's get right into some audio examples. All right, so first let's try this out on acoustic guitar with no effects whatsoever, just completely dry from the mic. All right, now I'll pull in some EQ and compression. Again, still just one guitar, one mic. Now what I'll do is pull in my second guitar and I'll pan these hard left and hard right for a nice big stereo effect. And next I'll pull in the vocal and yes, there's EQ compression and just a touch of Melodyne on the vocals. Cause as you guys know, I'm not the greatest singer. It's all the same. Only the names will change every day. It seems we're wasting away another place. Where the faces are so cold I drive all night Just to get back home 
Now, one thing I've noticed with this mic is it really suffers from overmodulating with uh, closer proximities. So you have to be careful about how loud you sing into it, even if you pull down the gain of the mic, like as I did, I recorded at a pretty low volume. Um, the uh, mic can still overmodulate, um, particularly when you're close to the capsule. Um, so you'll hear that here in this example. Where the faces are so cold, I drive all night just to get back home. So now the question is, would I recommend this mic and who would I recommend it for? If you're already an established musician and you want to make studio quality recordings, this probably isn't for you, uh, but you could use it to make some decent sounding demos. If you're looking to get serious about studio recording and you already have an audio interface, again, this is probably not for you because you can find an XLR condenser mic instead. I would recommend this mic for people who need to record their voice and people who are musicians trying to make easy, cheap recordings, demos, quick playthrough videos, things like that, not serious studio recordings. If you're a teacher and you need to do a voiceover for an online lecture or an education tutorial video, this will be great. It doesn't require that you own a bunch of expensive equipment that's difficult to figure out. If you're video conferencing and you want better quality audio than your built-in computer mic will give you, again, it's a great affordable option. If you're trying to make YouTube videos and you don't have much of a budget, once again, great option. A lot of YouTubers start off by just using their camera phone. You can easily upgrade the quality of your videos by simply recording the audio separately and then syncing the audio and video later in post. That's exactly what I did for this video. All right, guys, that's the Tonor Q9 microphone kit. If you wanna check this out, I'll leave a link in the video description and in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you for the support and thanks for watching.